Hi there beautiful Thrivers. Welcome back to another video with Thriving in Chaos. Today we're going to be doing our cash condensing and our sinking funds update for the month of November. So thank you guys for being here. Click that subscribe button, like the video, and let's go. Hi everyone, I hope you guys are doing good since yesterday. I am trying my best to get all these filmed as much as possible so that I can have these lined up for you guys. So thank you for being patient with me because I know I've been having to push some things off. It's just the nature of this time of year for me. I have three birthdays in my immediate family, so two of my children and my husband, all here in the last two months of the year, plus Thanksgiving and Christmas. Yeah. We've got, we've got lots of things that happen in these last two months of the year. So thank you guys for being patient with me. As I said in the intro, we are going to be doing our sinking funds update. We're going to find out how much money we have in all of these envelopes. And then we're going to cash condense these envelopes so that they're not too thick with all those $5 that I like to put in there. <laughs> As you can see, we do have some money here. I'm just repurposing some of the cash that we pulled yesterday. I didn't make it to the bank, so I figured this would be a good way to repurpose some of this cash just so that we can condense easier. So I do have $1,000 here, um, 500 and this is 300 this is 100 this is 100 So at the end of this video, we definitely want to end with 1000 no matter what denominations. So that's the key. Um, before we do get started with this though, let me go ahead and grab today's prompt card. If you're new to my videos, this is a prompt card. It's basically a conversation starter. So I'll ask and answer the question on the card in this video and you guys can put your answers in the comments below. Just a little something to help us get to know each other better. So, <laughs> uh, you know what? We're not together and you're not at my house and I'm not at your house, but you are at my channel. So. I like to think of this as you're coming into my home and you're checking out what's going on in my life and specifically in my journey. So with that being said, why did you come and click on this video? What made you click? Let me know in the comments. I want to know. This seems to be one of the most favorited type of videos people like to watch. So what is it about this video that makes you want to click on it? Let me know. All right, so as you can see here, I do have all of my sinking funds all listed out. It's three different pages. Um, total probably about two pages, but I split. Well, no, it's a little over two pages. But anyway, so we're going to be doing our sinking funds update today. You may not be able to see all these things. Let me see if I can fix my, my situation here so you can see the whole sheet. All right, hopefully you guys can see that better. Let's go ahead and just get right on into this video. No more delays for groceries. By the way, I am a little bit different than a lot of the budgeters you may have seen on YouTube. Basically, I don't compare um, the end of last month to the end of this month. I was doing that, but our paychecks are just different. Like we don't get the same paycheck every single month. So one month may have a ton of income coming in, whereas another month may have very bare minimum income coming in. So it used to just make me feel bad when those bare minimum income months come in and I haven't saved anything or we've gone down. So it was really giving me a sense of like discouragement. So I decided to cut that because I don't want to be discouraged. I will compare the end of last year to the end of this year um, at the end of December. So to stay tuned for that, we'll see where we were a year ago to that moment. And we'll see if there's been any progress at that point. Anyway, groceries. We have 1, 2, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28. I'm going to save these off to the side because we don't... Um, want ones if we can help it. Only certain envelopes can have one. So one, two, 25. So 225 is what is left in our groceries at this point. I keep these separate because these are cash envelopes. And so they're constantly revolving and it just depends on the time of month, the time of our last paycheck that these, you know, may have more money or less money just depending. So I don't use these as any gauge of what we have saved. This is just our living envelopes. 
20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. And we'll put these off to the $1 savings challenge. So 190 is what we have in gas at this particular moment. Dining out is and always will be empty. You don't see me use that. I might take it out because I do use it like on my own. So you might not see it in the new year, but we'll see. My pets, we have 10. We just bought a bunch of pet food and stuff, so we're good for a while. Extra toiletries. Um, by the way, I'm not condensing this. I like these in 20s and 10s. And this was as condensed as it could be. All right. 20, 40, 65, 75 is what we have in toiletries. So let's go ahead and exchange this for 75. So that is, we just pulled 50, 20, 40, 45, and 50. All right. So 75 in here. And now it's been condensed. Peach Pass has 20. I know that because we just did that. Miscellaneous. Let's see what we've got. We have 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. So we'll exchange all of this for a 50 and a 10. So $60 in our miscellaneous. That's nice. That's a nice feeling. All right. That'll do it for this binder. My other second set of cash envelopes. We have self-care. Let's find out how much we've got going on in here and condense if we can. All right, so in haircuts, we have 50, 70, 80, 90, 95. So let's just do, wait, no, that's 50, 70, 75, 80, 85. Let me write that down. 85 so 50 70 let's keep this five and we'll put these back for a 10 so 85 now in self-care i shouldn't have written that down actually <laughs> leave it to me guys leave it to me so 85 there hair color has 5 10 15 so let's exchange these two fives for a 10 for nails, we have 20, 30, 35, 40, 45. So let's keep a 5 and a 20. We'll put this down for 20. So 45 there. So for a total of 145 in our self care. I think I am going to get rid of this. It's tearing up. It keeps getting caught on this envelope. So, and I've never put money in it. So, I'm just going to chunk it. All right. So, hair color, nails, haircuts. That's good for self care for right now. For home, we have 50, 70, 80, 85, 90. So, let's just go ahead and exchange these for 20. So, 50, 70, 90. For gifts, we have 5, 10, 15. So let's exchange these two fives for a 10. So now we have 15 in gifts. Clothing, we have 50, 60, 75, 80. So we have 80 in here. Let's, let's exchange both of these tens, honestly. 50, 60, 70, 80. So $80 in clothing, which is nice. Can't wait to see some of these envelopes hit that $100 mark, which should be this upcoming month if we don't spend anything. Family fun. We have 5, 10, 15, 20. in there. Amazon Prime. I'm going to take these out. I think we're done with our Amazon Prime. I just don't. Yeah, I think we're done. So I want to be accurate. I'm going to say this is at zero. 
because I think it accidentally got spent on something while I was Christmas shopping because it does that automatic thing where it will automatically add the credit and if I don't think about it and pay attention then it will use my credit when I didn't plan to. <laughs> I wish it was the opposite way, honestly. All right, um, date night. We have 50, 70, 75, 80, 85. So let's exchange these two fives for 10. So 85 there and date night. And for gaming, we're going to keep these all in ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten in there. Our mental health envelope has quite a bit. We have 50, 100, 52, 50, 300, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 365, 75, 85, 390. For our mental health. All right, so that'll do it for my two cash envelope binders. So let's flip this over and let's get started on our sinking funds. Starting with our long term binder, which the T is missing. I'm about to change all this up anyway. Sneak peek. All right, vacation. We have in lodging 500, 600. Uh, 650, 670, 690, 710, 720, 730, 735. So 735 for vacation. And let's see if we can do anything. 50, 70, 90, 100. Let's go ahead and exchange that. And then we have 20, 35. Okay. We are good with that. Road trip, we have 50, 55, 60, 65. So let's keep this five. We'll put this back. So 65 there. For school, we are actually capped at 50. So we're going to leave it at 50. Electronics, we have 50, 60, 65, 70, 75. So let's exchange, I guess, these for a 20. So 50, 75. For home reno, we have 50, 70, 80, 95. That sucks. Five more than it would have been. So 95, let's exchange these two tens for 20. So 50, 70, 95. And we're done with this one. Moving over to our holidays. Let's see, we've only got $5 in Valentine, so we'll leave that. Hubby has $20 in his birthday, which I will give to him um, probably before he leaves. He has to leave out of town. He won't even be here for his birthday. So we have 100, 150, 160, 170, 175, 180. So let's keep 50 this... And let's keep 110. We'll put this 10 back and these two fives back for a 20. So 50, 70, 80. 180 for wifey birthday. We will start stuffing for Mother's Day and Father's Day as well soon. For my son's birthday, he has 20. He just had his birthday, so we're starting over. For my daughter's birthday, she has 40. She just had her birthday, so she started over. For my youngest, she has 100, 20, 40. So 140 for that. Christmas, oh goodness. 
Um, let's see what we've got going on. Okay. For Christmas, we have a hundred in each of my kids. That's what's left there. We have a hundred in my hubby's family. We have a hundred in my family. We have um, 140 in the nieces and nephews of our family. We have 250 for our games, our white elephant games. We have um, $100 in decor. And then for food, we have 100, 150, 170, 180, 190. Let's just go ahead and exchange that. So 190. So we have 1180 in total in our Christmas. All right, and we're done with this one. Let's move to my business binder. Starting with taxes, we don't write that down here because this is not technically my money, but let's see what we've got going on. We have 1,000, 1, 2, 3, 300, 400, 450, I think I'm gonna exchange this. We'll keep the old 50 in here. Uh, I'll probably have another 100 actually. 50, 70, 90, 100. And then we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so now we have 1,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, 500, 10, 11, actually, I think, 15, 11. I think I'm going to put 500 into the bank. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. We'll put that there, and we'll grab us a $500 placeholder. So $1,511 there. And let me go ahead and put... Let me go ahead and put 500 for taxes, just so I don't forget, because I wasn't planning on taking extra money to the bank, but I will now. All right, budget supplies. Why is this on budget supplies? Oh, I wrote down taxes. I even said I'm not going to write it down. So 1511, sorry, I'm shaking the camera, my bad. All right, 1511 in taxes. Let's go into my budget supplies. So for stickers, we have $50. Probably should put more in there because I think that's not going to cover what I need. All right, so $50 there. For planners, we have nothing. For Equipment, we have ten, uh, 110, and for office, we have 5075, and that's as condensed as that can be. So we have $235. All For YouTube giveaway, we have 110. Support small business, we have five. We're gonna leave this one here. For bills, we have 50, 60, 70. This is for like, you know, business bills. Festivals, hubby has, let's see. We have, oh my goodness, okay, 100, 200, 300, 400, 20, 30, 40, 5, 50. So we'll exchange all of this for a 50. Um, we'll keep this because I think it's cool. So 450 in there. 
For decor, he has nothing. For change, he has 5, 10, 15, which will keep him fives. So 465 is what he has in his festivals. For wood fund, this is hubby's wood fund envelope. For his side hustle, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six fifty, six seventy, and some ones. I'm gonna take the ones. So six seventy is what he has in there, and then for supplies he has a hundred and ten. So he has seven eighty in his wood fund. That'll do it for our small businesses, and now for our kids' savings. We have Grad Party, which has 1, 2, 3, 100, 20, 40, 60, 75, 85. So 385. Alright, let's do some exchanging here. Let's do this one and keep that one. Even though it's got a bend, it's crispier. Alright, it's 2040. 4550 and we'll take a 50. So 350 70 85. Okay, um my daughter, I think it's just at 740 and I think that we're good with that. Yeah. That's her grad gift or what is left of her grad gift. So once she graduates, she gets that. For my son's savings, he has five, six, seven hundred. Actually, seven forty. Seven twenty, forty, sixty, seventy, eighty, eighty-five, ninety, ninety-five. Oh, that's annoying too. Alright, so seventy ninety-five. So let's exchange this. Twenty, thirty, forty, forty-five, fifty. Alright, so we're gonna do that with all of them. So it's 700, 50, 70, 95, 795 for each of them. So we'll just exchange the same way in each of their envelopes. 50, 50, 70, 90, and 5. So 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. 50, 70, 95. Same deal with my daughter. All right, 50, 70, 90, and five. Actually, we'll keep this beautiful five. So 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Fifty, seventy, ninety-five. Perfect. And now our savings. Five hundred, twenty, forty, forty-five, fifty. So that's nice. Twenty, forty, fifty. So five hundred and fifty dollars in our savings. For our retirement, we have 20, 40, 45, 55, 55, I don't know, I didn't write it down, so, 550 and 55. Okay, let's flip the page. For TK Toys, he still has the same amount, probably 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm not taking his ones from his personal envelope. Not happening. I did take it out of his uh, business ones, though. Anniversary, we have 20, 40, 45. That's as condensed as that can be. Reserves binder. 
for car maintenance. Let's see where we're at now. We've spent quite a bit. For oil changes, we have 2040. For tags, we have 20, 40, 65, 75, 80. And I'll take these ones. 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. So 50, 70, and then we'll grab a 10, 80. And our deductible has 100, and our emergency fund has 1,000, 1, 200, 20, 40, 5. So 1,245. So 1465 is what we have in total in car maintenance. Health savings. We have ten in medicine. We have seventy in health. Copays has 70, um, deductible has 500, medical bills has 12,500. So we have 3150 in total in our health savings. Home emergency, we have 20, 40, 55, 56, 7, 8, 9, 60. And we are out of 50s. Let me check. Oh, we got two more, so I'll take 100. Okay, now let's do this. 20, 40, 50, 55, 60. All right, so let's do 50 and a 10. And we'll keep, well, this should be 50. 20, 40, 45, and 50. All right, so $60 in home emergency. Bills advancement, we have, let's see, in month one, we have 1,000, 2,000, 25, 26, 27, and 2,800 times two months. So 5,600 is what we have in our bills advancement. This is what's in my billing account. Making sure I'm on the right row here. All right, for emergency fund, we have 20, 40, 55. So let's exchange these for this 50. That's the only 50 I got, so hopefully we won't need it. Cost of living, we have. 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 10, 20, and 25. So 225. And then vet bill, which we're about to have another vet appointment. 50, 70, 90, 110. So let's just exchange these. So 110. All right, and then the last one I want to count is my bills buffer, which is here. All right, this is a big one. I haven't decided whether I'm gonna take money to the bank or not. I don't know. I think I'm going to hold off until the end of the year to decide what to do. All right. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Let me count it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1100. 51, 5200. 20, 40, 60, 83. I mean, 1. 20, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 5, 
And then we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we have 15.01 in total, which is amazing. Um, so let's uh, see what we can do. Can't condense these, but we can condense these for another 200. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 86, 7, 8, 9, 90, 91, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100. All right, that's going to be nice, much nicer. So, 1,501 dollars there. And I'll decide at the end of the year what to do with it. Maybe. That's the only ones I'm going to count. I'm not going to count Savings Challenge. We'll do that next month, of course. But let's go ahead and add these to our Savings Challenge. Once. And this is our fourth quarter right here. And we're just going to add this to it. Lord. Let's see what we're adding, though. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 ones going in the pile. Getting thick. Yep. Good thing this year is almost over. Might have to resort to using another envelope for this one, too. Like we did the three quarters. <laughs> All right, so that will do it for that. And now we have gotten all of that. Let's go ahead and do some math first. Math first, and then we will count, make sure we've got the right amount of money. All right, let's start with cash envelopes. Cash envelopes, we have $1,415 in there. Let's keep going. So in our sinking funds, wow, sinking funds, we have twenty thousand six oh nine plus what we have sitting in our cash envelopes. That's a total of twenty two thousand and twenty four dollars. This is why we have a lot of money that we put in the bank when we use prop bills because that's way too much money to just be sitting around your house. All right, so that is what we have at the end of November, $22,024. Um, $20,609 is going to specific savings, so that's cool. And that'll do it for that. Yep. All right, so let's count up and make sure we have exactly $1,000, actually fifteen. Fifteen hundred dollars because a thousand is what we started with, and we're adding five to it as well. So fifteen hundred is what we're hoping for. Let's see if we got it right. So fifty, one hundred, fifty two, fifty, seventy, ninety, three, ten, thirty, fifty, seventy, ninety, four, ten, thirty, fifty, seventy, ninety, five, ten, thirty, fifty, seventy, ninety, six, ten, thirty, fifty, seventy, ninety, seven, ten, thirty, fifty, seventy, ninety, eight, ten, thirty, fifty, seventy, ninety, nine, ten, nine, twenty, nine, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, a thousand. All right, so this is a thousand. So this should be 500. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Let's do this. This is 1,000. So 100, 
10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200. 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 300. 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 400. So 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 86, 7, 8, 9, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, mm, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I have $10 extra. No idea where. All right. So we do have indeed a thousand and fifteen hundred dollars I hate getting rid of some of these pretty bills but we gotta do it okay there it is this is what we have saved as far as space goes in our binders to make them a little bit thinner starting the new month so that's nice I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope that it gave you a little bit of inspiration at least to maybe think about trying to do this cash budgeting journey if you're not already doing it. If you are doing it, I hope it inspires you to keep going with it because we all need a little bit of extra inspiration and motivation. So that's what I'm here for. And if you're still watching and you're not subscribed, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. I would love to be your weekly inspiration for your own budgeting journey. Now, with that said, I'm going to take all of this to the bank where it was supposed to go in the first place and go make a deposit, much needed deposit, and put $500 of that taxes into my bank as well. So that's what we're going to do today. I hope you guys have a good one. I will see you in the next video, which will have to be our prepping for December video. So stay tuned to that. I'm not sure if it's going to drop tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday. It'll be one of those days but be looking for it and we're going to decorate up december for the last time of 2023 please join me i would love for you to be there with me all right guys with that said i will let you go i hope you enjoyed it and as always until next time bye